Today we're comparing these two lights, the Aperture MC Pro against the combo kit of the Zhun M20C. These lights are pretty similar, only about $30 to $40 difference in the US. So if you're interested in these, hopefully this video will answer all of your questions. Let's start with talking about what you get and the features of both these lights. Everything comes inside of a box and it has a soft pouch case, a USB-C cable, the light, a cage for the light, one magnetic diffusion, one magnetic grid, and one magnetic barn doors. Now let's talk about the features of this light. This light is RGB, so you got the full color spectrum, and then there's also bicolor mode with a color temperature range of 2500 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. Additionally, this light does have green and magenta shift control along with 16 special effects. There's a microphone on the light so that you can use it in music mode, and it's powered from the battery inside, but also via USB-C. Additionally, there are three cold shoe mounts on the top and the sides of the cage and a quarter 20 mount on the bottom. Additionally, this light can be controlled from the back of the light and also via the app. This light is a perfect little square and it is three and a half inches tall and wide. This little light is detachable from the cage, which allows you to mount it in various ways. There's a little latch which unlocks it and you can take the light out. Now, if you're using the cage, the cage has all those accessories. You can mount magnetically to it and the cage is also magnetic so that you can attach it to any metal surface. With the MC Pro, of course you get the light, one magnetic diffusion, one magnetic grid, one magnetic dome diffusion, a cold shoe mount that also has a magnetic accessory, a USB-C cable, four adhesive magnets, and a hard case for everything to go inside. Now for the features of the MC Pro. You can control this light from the light itself or via the Bluetooth app. And additionally, it does have DMX capabilities. This is an RGB WW light, so it does all the colors you can imagine. It is bi-color from 2000 to 10,000 Kelvin. It has 15 special effects that you can control from within the light or from the app. The light is powered from an internal battery that you recharge via the USB-C cable. On the bottom of the light, there's a quarter 20 mount. And on the back of the light, there's integrated magnets so you can just stick it up onto anything. The light is dimmable from zero to 100% Additionally, there is green and magenta shift control with this light. And inside the menu, there is also frequency control of the unit itself. Lastly, this is dust and weather resistant. Now that we know the features of both these, let's talk about fan noise, heat, and the light output. When it comes to fan noise, it's really easy. The MC Pro has no fan, so it's totally silent. Whereas the M20C does have a fan to super cool it. And so it is noticeable at times. I would recommend that you personally don't expect to have this light within three feet of a microphone. When it comes to heat, both of these do get warm because there are batteries, especially if you have them on at a high output for long periods of time. However, they don't get so hot that you cannot handle them. So in my opinion, these are totally safe to use. Speaking of runtime, both of these do have different runtimes. The MC Pro has a longer runtime. You can run it at 100% power for, they say, close to two hours. So let's just say it's an hour and a half. And then the M20C can only run for about 40, 30 minutes at full output. That is also because it is a powerful light, which that brings us to talking about the light output for both these lights, since this one is a 20 watt light and this one is a five watt light. So we can definitely expect to see more output from the M20C over the MC Pro, but the question is how much? So I use my spectrometer to measure these at half a meter, just because, um, <laughs> They're so small, it's kind of hard to get good readings at one meter, which is a typical distance to measure by. Next, I wanna mention hot swapping. Hot swapping is where you've been running it off of the internal battery. You notice that the battery's running low and you wanna plug it in so that it can keep running. That's what I mean by hot swapping since there is no external battery to remove and just pop another one back in. So when it comes to the MC Pro, hot swapping is doable. There is no problems with it. It works great. You plug it in, it keeps running. Uh, there is no shut off. Same thing for when you unplug it. So no problems there. Now with the M20C on the other hand, as of right now of the making of this video, it does have like a, a quick delay. So when you plug it in, the light will turn off for a second and then come back on. Same for when you unplug it. Now this might be something they can fix with a software update, which you can, you know, software update both these lights via their respectable apps. So hopefully they do come out with some sort of fix for that. Now, obviously these lights are smaller in their pocket lights. They're designed for quick, easy to get sort of situations, but can you actually use them if you needed to as like a key light or something like that. So 
I did a quick little setup where I used uh, each one respectively as a key light, and here are those results. Let me share my final thoughts with you about both these lights. I would like to point out that on the M20C, the accessories stick on a lot better. The magnets seem stronger, you can shake them and they do not fall off or get loose as easily. Whereas on the MC Pro, it didn't take much, just like one quick little, you know, jolt of the hand and the, the accessories went flying. So as far as durability is concerned, um, I mean, this one has a better build quality. It feels heftier in the hands. This one's a little bit more plasticky, but the accessories that are mounting to them, definitely the M20C, it sticks better and I'm not as concerned about them falling off. I think in general, if you're only using one accessory at a time, both of them are fine. The magnets are strong enough. As soon as you start stacking all the things that you can onto it, like all three of them at once, which isn't typical, but if you were going to, that's when both of them get to a point where it's definitely gonna fall off. MC Pro falls off sooner. Obviously both these lights are small, compact. Uh, the MC Pro definitely fits a little bit better inside of your pocket because it resembles like a deck of cards, but this one technically, if you're not using it with its accessories inside of its case, um, it definitely could fit in your your pocket as well. Now the MC Pro is going to cost more money. However, something that it does have going for it that the M20C does not is that it is weather resistant. Whereas the M20C is not. It's very open. That's so it can stay cool. Since it is a 20 watt light, there's a lot of heat going on in here. So that's why it has the fan and all these holes and stuff to keep it cool. And it has an internal heat sink as well. So that does mean that you can use the MC Pro in more like, I'll say light weather conditions over the M20C. I think when it comes down to it, these are really great for people who are doing weddings or need uh, quick solutions to rig up in very odd or unique scenarios. All the magnets and different accessories that come with both of these do make them really attractive. I think they both have well thought out features and accessories. Obviously they're super similar. It really comes down to what you plan on doing with it. If you need that extra power and you don't mind that it's not weather sealed or anything like that, then the M20C is really great to use for a really strong like backlight or hey, you can even use it as a key light or a fill light if you need to. Now, of course, if you're keeping the light pretty close to your subject, then, you know, the MC Pro is also great and it's got that weather ceiling so that you could use it outdoors or something like that. Maybe you have a reception that you're shooting and you need a little kicker or something like that. This could work in case there's, you know, a spill or some rain or something like that. I think in general, they're both good purchases. I would say this one feels just a little bit pricier, obviously, but you are getting some really nice stuff. I personally could care less about the case it comes with. So even if they just stopped selling the case, dropped the price down so that it was about the same as the M20C, I think that would make this just that much more attractive. Hopefully that is helpful to you as you make your purchasing decision. If you do have any further questions, put them down in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you out. And if you would like to purchase either of these, please use the links in the description to make that purchase as it does support the channel and I can make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.